and welcome back. It is a lovely Wednesday morning. This is Open Your Eyes. <laughs> and uh, we are about to venture off into our third and final topic for the morning. Belize Game Fish Association and uh, third annual Grand Carib Deep Sea Classic. Now we've got the folks in to tell us all about it. We've got Kyle Castillo, who is a marketing officer at Coastal Zone Management Authority. Uh, Tiffany Jones Ferguson. Oh yeah, Ferguson indeed. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, General Manager of Grand Caribe Resort. And mi amigo Andrew Rowe, President of the Belize Game Fish Association. Guys, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome. Good morning. It's nice to have you in. Yeah. Yeah. Man, I, I, could hear the, I could hear the reef lashing on the boat. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's that's why they all want to be right now. Yeah. Yes. Not here. <laughs> so let's venture off into the third annual. Andrew, take yeah. us there. Yeah, this, um, so this is the third, the third Deep Sea Classic that we're, that we're, um, that we're hosting. Yeah. And of course, in conjunction with, with Grand Caribe, which is a fantastic resort out in San Pedro. Yes, we know. These guys have, um, these guys have really, with this one especially, they're really elevating the, the sport of game or the sports fishing in Belize, mm -hmm. specifically offshore fishing. Mm -hmm. They um, it's in its third its third year. Mm -hmm. The first two years have been extremely successful, yeah. and we're now looking at uh, we're going into the third year, which is going to be an even bigger fishing tournament. This is we're excited to say now we can say hands down that this is the biggest fishing tournament in the country of Belize yeah. for the year. Yeah, it's it's the biggest in participation. It's the biggest in prize money. It's the biggest in, in pretty much everything. Mm -hmm. And it's, it, it just means that the, the excitement level raises just, just, a, just that other notch, you know? Yeah. Would you say that's how you gauge it to be successful? How do you gauge success? Yeah, it's, I mean, success in a fishing tournament is a lot of people say, well, how much fish did you catch? What's the biggest fish? But yeah. to be honest, it's, more, it's about the camaraderie. These guys are, are these, they're very few are actually professional fishermen in Belize because mm -hmm. we, don't have the, we don't have that market yet. Mm -hmm. Hopefully we, we get there one day. But the gauge of success is, is the enjoyment level. You know, if somebody yeah. could put from one to 10 how much you enjoyed the tournament, then that is the real gauge. And, and this year, Grand Carib is doing a lot to make sure that not just the participants enjoy themselves, mm -hmm. but those people who are staying behind on shore, who are maybe they're supporting their family members, their husband, their sons, their kids going out there. Yeah. And um, to make sure that they're having a good time. And I'll, I'll, oh. I'll segue that over to <laughs> Tiffany. Yeah. And she can tell you all about some of the exciting things that, that Grand Carib is putting on for, for people. For this year. Yeah. Yes. Like Andrew mentioned, we are totally excited about this year, mm -hmm. trying to ensure that this year is the biggest year to date. We're focusing on what the experience is, not just for the anglers that are participating, but for our shore guests as well. So we'll be having a volleyball tournament, Sweet. we'll be having a kayak um, race tournament, we'll be having live music, things to entertain everyone there. Um, the resort will have food, we'll have drinks, and participants on the shore, shore guests, who just partake in food and drinks get a chance to win a helicopter tour of the Blue Hole <laughs> <laughs> for four persons. So basically coming out to the tournament this year, it's a win-win for everyone. <laughs> you know, it's a family, it's a family fun weekend. The anglers will be at their top game. We also You've just have helped a lot of anglers get a pass to go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because yes. there are prizes for those who stay behind wow. and babysit. Oh <laughs> yes. Yeah. But let me ask before that though, because I think it's it's interesting when Andrew talks about the growth of the tournament. Yeah. Which means that for you as a as a resort in San Pedro, you see the benefits of promoting deep sea fishing. What's it like um, in terms of the interest that you find from guests on an annual basis oh the guests are super excited yeah with regards to just being there we're getting more interest for international guests coming down yeah. for the tournament wow. this year we're proud to say that we have um internationally renowned uh, marine artist carrie chen oh. that's coming down for our tournament this mm -hmm. year what he does basically is do fishing tournaments all over the world mm. And he is coming down to our tournament this year. He will be having, he will be doing a live um, piece here in the country when he gets here, you know. Additionally, we will have an auction at our captain's dinner tomorrow night where, and where all the participants as well as 
additional outside guest that wants to come in and attend the captain's dinner yeah. to be a part of this um, auction of his work. Wow. And if you don't know who Carrie Chen is, go and check him out. On, on He's on Instagram. He's on Facebook. He's got his website. Yeah, we'll, his find work, we'll find him. You'll find him. His work, his work is incredible. And, and he's even done a custom piece for some yes. of the shirts that we're, we're yes. going to be giving so out. Yes. Wow. So, so Which we includes have custom, the blue hole. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so we have custom shirts by Carrie <laughs> Chen. He's coming down. We're doing um, the, uh, the auction. Okay. The proceeds from the auction will be a charitable donation to um, Hope Haven Children's Home yeah. in San Pedro. So we're just super excited. Participants coming from all over. Volleyball tournament, um, kayak race, chance for everyone to yeah. be in it, to win it. Yeah. That yeah. amazing the blue hole in a helicopter you know, in, in a, a helicopter, helicopter. Yeah. you know the blue hole is amazing <laughs> when you do it <laughs> you know yeah. by boat by helicopter i can tell you first amazing, time it yeah. is simply amazing Oh, don't <laughs> brag. <laughs> when we win the prize, we'll say yeah, that. Right, 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 right. right. <laughs> yeah. But Kyle, let's, let's talk about uh, yeah. deep sea fishing in Belize. And just, you know, I know that you promote it as a mm -hmm. part of the tourism product, but it's also like every other form of fishing that you want it to be done sustainably yes. as well. Right? Definitely. So um, that's part of the um, education campaign that we do. Part of it is putting up sands and sensitizing the general public. Yeah. But a part of it is also partnering with um, Belize Game Fish Association and Grand Caribe. Yeah. To you understand me to sensitize the practitioners in the in the industry itself. Mm -hmm. Because like Miss Mrs. Ferguson just mentioned, it has a lot of economic value to the country itself, just yeah. sports fishing itself. So yeah. <coughs> as an institution it's our duty to basically partner with with these bodies and you understand me? Mm -hmm. yeah. We have a, have a role within sustaining and developing the industry itself. So how do, they how have do to get a license through you. Yeah, definitely. Right. Yes, so definitely. you know how many sports fishers there are? Um, generally in the country, um, over a period of time, or uh, whatever number. Right yeah. now, yeah. Um, right now we don't have we don't keep, um, like because we have different tiers. So we have one day f um, licenses, we have oh. one week licenses, and we have one year licenses. Mm. Okay. So there's a there's different tiers, but it's, I could tell you that there are a lot of people who, um, mostly mostly international pr persons, but there are a lot of people who participate and are aware of the need for sport fishing licenses. So that's why we partner with these entities so that mm -hmm. yeah. we could sensitize more persons for the need and the, you know, some of the, necessi yeah. the necessity for the licenses. And is the catch and release mandated? In the tournaments, uh -huh. um, so with with uh, with, uh, with as far as coastal zones concerned, they're responsible for enforcing and ensuring that the catch and release species that are designated under law in mm. Belize are caught and released and not kept. Those okay. include yeah. bonefish, tarpon, and yeah. permit. So th those are the three keys to our tourism product, our fly fishing yeah. and sports fishing tourism product. People come from across the world to this country to yeah. to That's to um, catch yeah. these fish spend thousands and thousands of dollars to yeah. in hotels in tour guides in everything that they do Ooh. just to come here yes. to catch these fish so because that's like a big deal right catching yeah. all three that's like yeah it's called a grand slam it's called a grand slam and you can do it here you can yeah. do it yeah. here yes. belize is one of the few places in the world where you can uh, the other places are you know some places in mexico the mm -hmm. florida keys mm -hmm. but belize is one of the few places where it's quite likely for you to, to release a grand, a grand slam, slam yeah. catching all three, the bonefish, the tarpon, and the permit in one day. And for most people, just catching a permit is kind of a, it's a lifelong dream because dream. they are, they're very challenging to catch. And um, Belize is one of the places where you can have, you know, 40, 50 shots at a permit every day. And you yeah. can, 50 of them could swim past, you know, I'll catch none. Oh, <laughs> 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 you have to, you have to, you know, you have to treat yeah. them right to yeah. make them bite. Sure. But as far as the tournament's concerned, the Belize Game Fish Association over the years has made a big move towards transitioning from killing everything that we catch yeah. to okay. more sustainable catch and release practices. So, mm -hmm. um, in 2012, there is kind of the, the start date of this progress. We were killing everything. So all the billfish that we caught, mm. we, would, we would bring to the scales. Fast forward now to 2019, we release um, all sailfish, all white marlin, all spearfish, 
and we release almost every one of the blue marlin that we catch mm. unless they're a much larger one that then we we bring to the for scale consumption. those are yeah for consumption or for as a as a as a record for the country hey. and that happens very very infrequently so you know, of the hundred oh, fish that we catch, bring any in. we do we do bring in some of the, the the larger ones, and we haven't had a large one brought in yet. So, I mean, yeah. we we say we we do, but in 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 practice, it's <laughs> it's to be done yet. What we consider a large one to be brought to be brought so in, in terms of pounds or the minimum meter? the minimum weight for blue marlin in our tournaments is two hundred and fifty pounds. <laughs> now. It sounds like a lot in, in, a lot in it is a lot, it is a lot. You know, you think about a 250 pound man, that's yeah. a lot of weight. That's yeah. so with you, a fight. With a fight, yeah. And these are athletic fish. Yeah. But in the whole scheme of things, a 250 pound blue marlin is actually not that big. The world record is somewhere around 1,400 pounds. What's the so biggest we've caught in Belize? In Belize, the record is 492 pounds. It was caught in, a, I think it was 1998. So oh it's God. been standing for a long time. <laughs> and so that is kind of, that's the goal everybody wants to beat. Yeah. But in Belize, our fish average between 100 and 200 pounds. So most of them caught in our tournaments are mm. set free. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, and that was going to be my question. I mean, are, that's a part of the joy that uh, sports fishermen get, you yeah. know, uh, posing with the catch at mm. the end of the day. How, how have you found the uh, the other anglers buying into the idea of catch and release? Did they just adapt it, adapt to it, or they buy into the idea? Yeah, it, it was quite a it was quite an interesting process. A lot of resistance in the beginning, as anything is when it comes to change. Mm. You know, changing the way people do things that you've done for so many years yeah. or so so long is always a challenge. But we pushed through. We had a lot of people who did support it. And it was, it was incredible. The Belize Game Fish Association executive did not expect or anticipate that there would be such a huge uptake by our anglers to start releasing these fish. Mm -hmm. People started doing it outside of fishing tournaments. Mm -hmm. Today, with today's technology, you know, the, the phones that we've got take fantastic quality videos and photos. People have GoPros. So that, that it's not just a fisherman's it's story. Exactly. No, if okay. it's not on video, it's not real. <laughs> <laughs> it's not real. I know, it's like not on Instagram or Facebook. It's not real. Yeah. yeah. So that's been a, that's played a big role. Because you say you get a big catch, but nobody sees nobody it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fisherman's yeah, exactly. tail, but now yeah. the phone can prove it. Yeah, yeah. 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 You know, it, it, I, I, like, I like that. And it reminds me of uh, Judge Marquis saying that he knew a man we catch one fish, a tail, a head pass, 16 at the morning, the tail no pass till 16 at the evening. <laughs> and to tell you how big this fish, he took a picture, uh -huh. and from the picture, we five pounds. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> but nonetheless, let's get back, let's get yeah. back to, to, to this tournament. But how many registered boats so far we've got? And yeah. uh, do we have internationals? Tell us about that. Well, we're proud to say that to date, we have 36. Seven registered oh, wow. boats. Is this like the largest so far or? Yes. By far. I it think last year was the largest and we had 27 or 29. 27. 29. So now we have, we had 29 we have 37 year. registered 37. so far. So far. And do you know, you know how we go in Belize? We wait till last, last minute. minute. So we're, we're expecting at least 40, probably yep. more. 40 yeah. more. Yeah. For, for, no, 40. up to 40. Oh, 40. <laughs> which, which equates to probably somewhere around 200 competitors. Okay, so 200 but, but, we, plus. but we've got a lot of internationals being a part of this, right? Yeah. Yes. Yes, okay. we have um, we have Mexicans that are coming. We, last year we had two Mexicans that participated, mm -hmm. and last year the weather um, for them to yeah. travel in to the to be here for the tournament was pretty rough. We had more boats that were expected, and two showed up, had a fantastic time at the tournament. Yeah. So we know that this year a minimum of two um, Mexican boats will be coming. Um, unfortunately, the the Honduranians yeah. that we, we went that Belize went. On a beat there, man. That's why right. <laughs> I heard about. They can't. Oh. Oh. Yes, they yes, they yes. won't. Unfortunately, Wait, was it not the first time Belize won uh, it, an international fishing tournament? It was the uh, it was the second time. Yeah. Our one of our members has gone down there yeah. about three years ago, and he won. This year, another one of our members went down. We had actually nine boats compete in the international tournament, and uh -huh. they ended up winning both categories of the tournament. Oh These guys God. are not holding any grudges. They have a big, big yeah, wedding for one of the event. association members. Mm -hmm. One of the, one's marrying another one, so they're all, they're all they all yeah. sent their apologies. Looking forward to next yeah, year. Good excuse. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> excuse. Somebody married next year. <laughs> yeah, we yeah. won't beat them up too bad next no, year. No, no, no. <laughs> but other than that, we also have um, international participants. Like we have our owners, a couple owners that plan around this time. Yeah. They can't wait for us to 
set the date collectively as to when the fish will be biting <laughs> and the tournament <laughs> date is set so that they can come down to participate. So we have locals, internationals. Yeah. Um, so we're it's pretty be excited. It's yeah. going to be great. So if you're a visitor to Belize and you want to be a part of this tournament, what do you do? I mean, because you have to have a boat or a yeah. team to yes. work with. Does, does Grand Caribe accommodate for that as yet? Um, we've had two participants that came down and basically asked us to pretty much arrange everything for them. Oh. And with us taking the level of fishing tournaments to um, a higher level here in Belize, our goal is to eventually be able to offer that yeah. to inter be to have that be a part of our marketing for it. Yeah. Whereby when we invite internationals to partake, all they need to do is come down, we'll deal with the boats and everything. Wow. And that's why ensuring that the level that we have the tournament is key and Elevating it is our goal yeah. every year. That's lovely. Make so it bigger, yeah. That's lovely. So John's been eyeing this prize <laughs> since we first got here. Yeah, I, I, I saw the flyer. I, mean, I, th I think the helicopter ride is pretty cool, but I think they're going out for that first prize. Mm. Oh, the the, yeah, yeah, the $20,000. Wow. Added, uh, along with the Calcutta, because the Calcutta at the captain's dinner is also quite the experience. Yeah. yeah. It's good fun. It's basically it's a it's a um, a a you 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 take you take wages on who's going to win the f the the top prize, mm -hmm. and um, so then there's a prize uh, monetary prize element attached to that. So and it could be as much as the first prize. So I think last wow. year the first place boat took home about forty thousand dollars. Wow. Yeah. So. I can lose and still win. You like can I can lose. bet on your you can, boat that you'll win. Yeah, you can bet on my boat. You can stay right there with your margarita, Marlene, right there on the beach. <laughs> yep, you can right watch, partake, and you can still win. Right. Just yeah. like that. Just like that. So what, like are, that. what are the criteria for this? Uh, uh, the largest this? Yeah, this so this it's, a, it's points accumulation is, mm -hmm. the, is the way this tournament works. And there's, there's different levels of points for, for, um, for different species of fish. The catch and release, you get, if you catch one and release it according to the rules, you get a set number of points for each species. Whereas the other stuff like the Dorado that we've been talking about, Wahoo, Kingfish, Tuna, those are by weight and you get a certain number, you get one point per pound that those fish weigh. So uh -huh. those ones, because they're food fish and table fare, you bring those in and they're weighed. So those are great because they create a tiebreaker mm -hmm. and we get quite a lot of Dorado now. And uh, so that kind of breaks the monotony of trying to catch a blue marlin, which can take some time mm. a lot of patience and what what's it been like what's the catch been like over the past two years of the tournament so it's been the first year for billfish was really good we had i i can't remember off the bat but i think it was five or six blue marlin caught and about Whoa. three sailfish last year was a little slower on the billfish side mostly because we had a huge sargasm influx and that makes fishing extremely difficult yeah. imagine you know trying to fish the whole time you're taking off seaweed off your line so that is that's been challenging I've got everything crossed, my hands, my <laughs> eyes, my <laughs> fingers, everybody. That's an update you can get from the weather. I know, yeah. I know, and it's, yeah. but it's so far, it's looking like we're going to be okay. So as long as the sargasm eases off, the fishing we know for the past few weeks has it's been, been, it's been hot. When is so tournament day? It starts on Friday. Friday. Friday, Friday, Saturday, Saturday, Friday, Sunday. Yeah. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And for all of those people who are interested in, in watching what's happening in the tournament, if they check out our Facebook page, the Belize Game Fish Association, we will be will be live broadcasting you know all of the events we will have live updates of all the fish being caught mm -hmm. so you can um, you can keep keep in touch with what's going on on the Man. on the seas yeah. yeah fishing is like christmas you don't know what's going to be in that that's gift. right, yeah. that's <laughs> right. You, you just hope you get a gift. <laughs> 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 but um, you, you spoke of the activities so there'll be shore activities during the day on saturday and sunday yes saturday okay. and sunday and is it open to just uh, people who are staying at Grand Caribe or other people can come in for the oh. day activities? No, we're inviting everyone to come out, yeah. be a part Check of the out. activities. Yeah. Go for weigh-in. Yes, yes. Go, go for weigh-in. And like we said, we want the participants as well to have a chance to be rewarded, just like the anglers. So they get a chance to experience the blue hole yeah. via Astrom helicopters. So. You have to come out in yeah. order to, to yeah. get in it. 
Now there there are quite a few categories. What's what's the most coveted title to have? Do you want to be uh, yeah. heaviest kingfish, wahoo? What is it? Top angler. Top angler. So yeah, <laughs> there there. I mean, I think the the most coveted is first place. This is certainly a team sport. You know, when you're talking about catching a 250 pound fish, that can't be done on your own. Uh -huh. The captain is vitally important. The angler needs to know what they're doing. They yeah. need to be physically fit because these fights can last in excess of an hour. Um, you need to have a good crew who knows what they're doing. Yeah. So it's a team effort. And so that first place prize is kind of the top one. Top angler is another good one because that's you know a lot of bragging rights. And I, I, I won the most points. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and then the heaviest of, of each species. So you can see you got heaviest Dorado, heaviest Wahoo. Those are also definitely coveted prizes because you, you've caught the biggest one. Yeah. And definitely the, for, for children and for, yeah. for our female anglers, those two are ones that we really place a lot of priority on because we, we want to encourage young kids to start yeah, fishing early. It, yes. And we want to encourage more females to start competing. Because do you still have women in, in the com competition? Yes, yep. we do. We have yeah. quite a few. Um, we have some really, really good f female anglers who in the years have just, you know, we have one who's just, she keeps, she keeps some, um, she keeps at the top of her game. <laughs> so yeah, we uh, are we back to an all-female boat yet, or? There's, there's one in the works. I think I need to invite you, Marlon. <laughs> 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 I'll have the margaritas. Right. <laughs> <laughs> On the beach. Yeah. But it is, you know, I think um, a great opportunity. And as you pointed out, it is one of the growing, I mean, people have been interested in fishing in Belize for so long. We just need to see it for ourselves as well as Belizeans. Yeah. Just uh, what you bring in here, some images. This is from yeah. Wayne as well. Yeah. yeah. Um, that's that's probably the most fun part of the day, right? Yes. Mm. Yeah. Everyone waiting to see what the catch of the day is, basically. You know. And the, these oh. days, with again with technology, we we um. Our anglers are transmitting information live from, from offshore. So we're getting the pictures of the stuff they've caught immediately, and then we're putting it out on social media. So it makes it way more exciting than back in the old days. You just sat around, waited, and then yeah. they brought it Waking in. Now you're seeing it live, which is very cool. cool. Right. That's yeah. cool. So San Pedro this weekend, starting on Friday. Yes. Starting All right. tomorrow Any night, actually. Tomorrow yeah. night. Yeah. Tomorrow it's going night. on tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. yeah. at the night. captain's dinner. Mm. So tomorrow is what, registration? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. OK. So, uh, any other information you'd want to share with us about the upcoming tournament? Your sponsors, your... Yeah. Your oh, yes. We <laughs> most definitely would not be able to pull this off without our sponsors. You know, partners like the BGFA, mm -hmm. Coastal Zone Management, the BTB, um, <coughs> Carrie Chen for coming down, mm -hmm. Benny's, um, Ben Quip. Additionally, we also have Boston Whaler and Fountain boats that will be out there as oh. well we have ats um th our, th our, spon our list of sponsors <laughs> have oh, just know. really been supportive yeah. with us getting this tournament the third year at its best and i All think right. too we have to definitely say thanks to the competitors because it's really without them it wouldn't happen and yeah. this is no this is no cheap sport it takes a, it takes a lot of resources so definitely a big thanks goes out to the competitors All right. All right. and if someone is interested in getting their license yeah so we'll be at the briefing night tomorrow coastal zone management however um you can go on the coastal zone um website coastalzonebelize.org and you could order, um purchase your your licenses on the website and you could call into the offices and we could make a special okay. delivery. Yeah. 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 All right. All cool. right. Well, thank you for coming in and giving us all the details. Thank you. Thank We're going to go ahead and take our final break now. And when we come back, we'll have our wrap up. So stay tuned.